What's going on guys? We are back with another video, and today I'm going to show to you how you will make a bootable USB drive with any Windows operating system. Please do make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button below, and turn on your notifications to never miss another video. Alright then, let's get started. First, download Rufus USB tool, download link will be on the description box below. Also, you will need an ISO file of a Windows operating system. In my case, I'm using a Windows 8.1 Pro. I have given also a download link below on some Windows operating system. Also, we cannot do all of these without a clean USB drive. After you downloaded these files, locate Rufus USB tool, and open it right away. But before all of this, as I said, you need a clean USB drive. If there's some files with it make sure to make a backup with these and format your drive right away. Or Rufus USB tool has a quick format option itself, so you can do either way on formatting your USB drive. After formatting the drive, now let's go to Rufus USB tool. So first, select the USB drive that you formatted recently. But if you have one USB drive inserted on your PC, it should be selected by default. Next, just select the option MBR partition scheme for BIOS or UEFI, or the default, so that the target system type will be either BIOS or UEFI. Next, in the file system option, select NTFS. Next, just leave the cluster size to default or 4096 bytes, or depends on you, but the default one is enough though. Next, locate your downloaded ISO file by clicking the CD-ROM icon, located beside the ISO image option. In my case I placed it on my desktop, but in your case, it should mostly be located on the downloads folder. Then option will appear, if you want a clean installation of your PC, just select the option standard windows installation, but if you want your files to be kept, select the option windows to go. Just leave the quick format and create extended label and icon files, option checked. Also, you can either check the option check device for bad blocks, but since I just recently reformatted my drive, this isn't necessary though. After setting all the option, just simply click the start button below. If you want to check what is the app doing, you can click the log button below. So this part will take a while. This is the part where the creation of the installation media begins.
so that's it. You have just created a bootable USB drive. You will be able to use this drive next time when you inserted the drive and changed the boot sequence of your BIOS. That's it guys thanks for watching. Please do make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. This would help me in my future videos. Also comment down below on what videos will I do next. As always stay safe and peace out.